Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube. And today I want to bring you guys a review of the Nuki Fob. Now the Nuki Fob is a small Bluetooth accessory designed to work with Nuki Smart Locks. That means it works with the Nuki 3, the Nuki 3 Pro, the Nuki 4 and the Nuki 4 Pro. And this thing costs around £45 on Amazon at the time of recording and there is a link to that below. That link will direct you to Amazon and this device in whichever country you're watching it. So let's talk about specification. So to start with, this thing is pretty small. This means it doesn't look out of place on your keyring at all and doesn't feel bulky. It can be used alongside 199 other Nuki fobs. That means each Nuki device is capable of working with up to 200 fobs. I don't know who needs that many, but it's great that they thought of that. Likewise, you can also use these fobs with more than one Nuki device. And actually, you can use each fob with up to 100 Nuki devices. This is great if you've got more than one Nuki in your house or family members who've got it as well. It means you don't have to buy lots of accessories for each and remember which one does what. One accessory can do anything when it's in range, and that is Bluetooth range. You can also easily delete these from the Nuki app. This is great if you lose one and you don't want to enable someone to be able to use it if it's lost. You can also use the Nuki app to view usage stats. Now these aren't massively in depth, but it is nice to have them. Alongside that, you can also set time limited access. This is great if you've got a cleaner who needs access on a particular day or a cat sitter who needs access during a particular time. And of course, you can update this remotely. That means if your cleaner changes time from week to week and they've got the fob, you can adjust it on your phone and next time they come to use it, it will work as long as they're at your house at the right time. Inside these, they have Bluetooth 4. This has a range of 15 meters, but this gets smaller when you take into account walls and doors. They are IP65 dust and water resistant and also shockproof. Alongside that, data is encrypted. And it also has a challenge response. This makes it as secure as online banking. And then inside is a CR1632 battery. This can be easily replaced when you need to as well. Now, Nuki don't commit to how long this is going to last, and it's largely going to depend on how often you use the fob, but I'd easily expect a year out of it. So let's talk about design. So the design of this fob is pretty small with a really slim profile. The whole thing is black with rounded edges, and at the top is a hole for you to put a keyring through it. The front has a button and an indicator light, and that's pretty much it. It's just a simple, compact, small design that doesn't look out of place on your keyring. So let's talk about setup, and this is easy as well. So to set it up, you first hold down the button on your Nuki device for five seconds to put it into parent mode. You then do the same thing with the button on your fob. From there, when the lights on your respective devices stop flashing, it's paired. You can then go into your Nuki lock on your smartphone and view that key fob there. From there, you can rename it and set any restrictions you want to set. You can also go into advanced options and configure how the fob works if you want to. And of course, you can also remove it from there as well. It's a really simple process and it works well. So let's talk about using it. So this is one of the best accessories if you want to keep the advantage of the Nuki not looking like a smart lock from the outside, but also not have to worry about grabbing your phone all the time. Likewise, if you don't want to have the auto unlock feature in place, this is a good way of using it still. And it's really easy to use. Once you're in range of your lock, you simply press the button. And it does respond in seconds every single time. And it is easily quicker than pulling out a key and having to put that in your lock and twist it and grab the handle. You just press the button on this and then pull down your handle and in you go. By default, one press uses the intelligent mode. That means generally if your lock is locked, it will unlock. And if it's unlocked, it will lock. The exception to this is if you have the open mode as well. The open mode is when your door can be unlocked, but still needs a little twist of a key from the outside for you to get in. In intelligent mode, it defaults to just kind of always opening or unlocking. You can obviously change this in the app, but you probably don't need to. And this is why. Two presses of a button will unlock and then three presses will lock. This basically gives you all of the functionality you need right out of the box without having to change those settings, but you can if you want to. To change the advanced settings, however, you do need to have the fob with you and do that from the Nuki app. It's the only fob setting you can't change without having the fob in range. So what's the verdict on the Nuki fob? Whilst it's not the cheapest accessory around, it is actually really responsive, super compact, and works well every single time. And I am really impressed with it. And I think there's a whole variety of use cases for this. And firstly, I think it's a really useful accessory for less tech savvy family members. The idea of pressing a button once or twice or three times is nice and simple. Nuki also say it's a good idea for kids who haven't got smartphones yet. I suspect with kids it could get lost very easily though. Although, of course, you can disable it when it gets lost, so it's not the end of the world. It's just a £49 loss. 
And then secondly, it's really useful for people who only visit your house every so often and only need time limited access. Perhaps that's a regular cleaner or a regular cat sitter. And of course, if their times or shifts change or maybe they're not coming for a while, you can change their access in the app. That means you know they've only got access when they need access. And whilst you can achieve that digitally, it means that person hasn't got to worry about having the Nuki app and creating an account. They just need a simple device that's not dissimilar to a key. And of course, the idea that it works with multiple Nuki locks is really well thought out as well. It means if you've got multiple Nuki locks in your house, you haven't got to worry about which one works with which. It also means if you've got friends and family who've got Nuki locks, you can use your fob with theirs if they allow you to. And likewise, they can manage your access. It kind of gives you a, a sort of one key does everything approach, which is really good. If you guys have got any questions about the fob, do stick them below because I'm still using it on an ongoing basis. If you do want to pick one up, I have put a link below. That's an affiliate link. So if you make a purchase using that link, whether it's a fob or something else, then thank you very much because it helps this channel out. I don't get paid to make these reviews. These are reviews that I just make because I think you guys will find them interesting. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys again soon.